Um, this is my version of a, a modified hybrid rocket stove. Um, it's made out of four cans. Got like a popcorn type can. Uh, and then two or three cans inside with a copper coil and a little piece of sheet metal here for the fuel to go on top and you put the fuel in like twigs and stuff and uh, below is where the air goes in to uh, feed the fire and then this connector right here is for uh, a water bottle or jug or whatever the water goes in through there and then as it heats up it superheats into superheated steam and combines with the carbon coming off the, the fuel and burns even hotter and clean so <clears throat> this is something that people can do in emergency situations to greatly increase fuel efficiency I mean you only need just a few twigs to start this up and then a few more twigs to boil water. It's very fuel efficient and I'll be doing tests in the next videos. So once again, four can rocket stove steam hybrid. Um, this isn't actually all the way finished. Uh, around here you would put vermiculite, which is a type of rock that's really light and a very good insulator and can take a lot of heat. So you'd put it all around here. You could have cans go up higher so that it's more flush and then um, cut a circle out of here, put it down so that it you know you don't see the vermiculite or whatever insulation you could even use ash all around here for the insulation but you definitely want to put insulation all on the outside here um, which I haven't done yet but uh, I will and in the next videos I'll be showing you the uh, the tests with the actual ins insulation inside um, so anyway I just wanted to show you the inside of this and how to build it it's very simple you can pick up the copper tube <coughs> excuse me, anywhere at like Home Depot, Lowe's, hardware stores and uh, cans, whatever cans you have and but you do need a big uh, can or you could use sheet metal and then rivet it together um, or you could even use a Heineken uh, uh, beer dispenser as well for your main can so anyway thanks for watching I've put together some more of this um, this uh, hybrid rocket stove. Um, basically, I just took a, a lid from uh, one of these popcorn tins that I had, and uh, you know, cut in a spiral um, formation both the center and all around the edges, so that I could fit it inside, and it rests right on top of the cans um, right next to it you can see I have a water bottle that I've super glued silicone tube from uh, a pet you know like an aquarium place or a pet store pet pet mart pet co it's silicone tubing so silicone can withstand high heat I want to connect the tube the silicone tube to the copper tube with a little uh, a brass um, adapter and so uh, you can see a little bit better I can show you a little bit inside I just placed that nice and snug in inside the cutting it like that allows for a snug fit I did that with all the cans all the cans are connected in this fashion there's no welding or uh, glue or anything it's just totally the force of the metal pressing against the metal that keeps this all together so you can take it apart really easily also if you'll notice I have these holes on this on the sides here and also here for uh, skewers or something you know some metal 
rods to go across so you can put your pan on top of that. Um, and they're just above where this sits so it, it clears it nicely. And also what this does is it will help vortex the steam and the air and uh, make it more energetic to burn better. At least that's the hope. Uh, shot. I put the the uh, connector uh, f from the silicone tube to the copper. Um, you're looking at the front where you'd stick the fuel in, um, and then you know the top half of the uh, of the uh, rocket stove sleeve. You put the fuel into, and then the bottom bottom part. Um, it's uh, for the airflow to go in and then you can see I put the little uh, nozzle valve uh, to connect the copper to the uh, silicone tube and then the silicone tube goes over to the bottle of water fuel and just the uh, the pressure alone from the weight of the water will start it moving through the tube and then as the copper tubes heat up it should siphon the water at a great much greater rate um, as it goes up uh, through the spiral of the copper inside here's another shot from above that flat piece of metal just comes out um, right here this piece just slides in and out and then here you can see the coil again and so <clears throat> this area is air right now um, that the area of insulation is air but you could put vermiculite would be really good or um, ash even air is not the best insulator but it's all <clears throat> I have to work with right now. Um, also, you know, if I was using vermiculite, because it's not super tight around everything, uh, stuff might get into the burn chamber. So, um, and that's it. Now I just need to test it, and uh, hopefully it will work.